Hi friends, today we will discuss about regular expressions and finite state machine. According to Klin's theorem, finite state machines and regular expressions define the same class of languages. That is, they are equivalent. That is, they are equally powerful. So, to prove this, we must show that given any language that can be defined with a regular expression can be accepted by some FSM and so is regular. And every regular language that is every language that can be accepted by some DFSM can be defined with a regular expression. So, let us take up the first theorem. For every regular expression, there is an equivalent FSM. The proof is by construction. That is, we can show that given a regular expression alpha, we can construct an FSM M such that L of alpha is equals to L of M. So, we first show that there exists an FSM that corresponds to each primitive regular expression. Then the regular expressions that exploit the operations of concatenation, union and clean star will be discussed. So first let us see how to construct FSM for each primitive regular expression. First, if the regular expression alpha is equal to null, then its equivalent FSM constructed is an initial state, which does not have any transitions to any other state. Next, if a regular expression alpha is any symbol C, which belongs to alphabet summation, then its equivalent FSM constructed is an initial state having a transition with symbol C to a final state. So, this is the FSM equivalent to the regular expression C. Third, if a regular expression alpha is equal to epsilon, then the FSM is initial state itself a final state. Let beta and gamma be regular expressions. If L of beta is regular, then FSM M1 is equals to K1 summation delta 1 S1 A1. Similarly, if L of gamma is regular, then FSM M2 is equals to K2 summation delta 2 S2 A2. Fourth, if alpha is a regular expression, beta union gamma and if both L of beta and L of gamma are regular, then let us see how to construct the union of two regular expressions. This is a FSM M1 with start state S1. This is FSM M2 with start state S2. Now, we have to create a new start state S yes, and connect this start state to the start state of M1 and start state of M2 with epsilon transition. So, this is the FSM obtained for the regular expression beta union gamma. If alpha is a regular expression, beta concatenated with gamma and if both L of beta and L of gamma are regular, then let us see how to construct the FSM. This is FSM for M1 with start state S1, FSM of M2 with start state S2. Then connect 
every accepting state of m1 to the start state of m2 via an epsilon transition. If alpha is the regular expression beta star and if L of beta is regular, then let us see how to construct FSM for Klin operation beta star. This is the FSM of M1 with start state S1. Then create a new start state S2, make it as accepting state. Then link this new start state S2 to S1 via epsilon transition and finally create an epsilon transition from each accepting state of m1 back to s1. This algorithm regular expression to fsm is used to construct fsm preferably non-deterministic finite state machine given a regular expression alpha. Beginning with the primitive sub expressions of alpha and working outwards until an FSM for all of alpha has been built, we have to construct an FSM as described in the previous theorem. Just now in the previous theorem, we have seen how to construct FSM for epsilon, null, for a symbol of an alphabet, union of two regular expressions, concatenation of two regular expressions, Klin star of a regular expression. Let us see step by step construction of FSM for a given regular expression. So FSM for a regular expression B union AB whole star. So first let us build FSM for B. Initial state final state with a transition labeled B. For similarly for FSM A, initial state, final state with a transition A. Now after building FSM for a B of A, next is we are supposed to build FSM for AB. A is a regular expression, B is a regular expression, A concatenated with B is a regular expression. Then the FSM for AB is this is FSM for A for B. So A concatenated with B with an epsilon transition and this will be the final state. So this is FSM for AB. Having FSM for B and AB next is we are supposed to build FSM for B union AB, B or AB. For OR operation, we go for inserting a new start state with epsilon transitions for both the sub FSMs. So this is the FSM obtained for the regular expression B union AB. Having built FSM for B union AB, next is to build the FSM for whole star. In the previous theorem, we have seen how to build FSM for Klin star. This is FSM for B union AB. For this, create a new start state, make it as an accepting state and link this new start state to the old start state via epsilon transition and finally create an epsilon transition from each final state or accepting state of m1 back to old start state. So here we have two final states from each final state we have epsilon transition back to the old start state. So this is the FSM obtained for the regular expression B union AB whole star. And we said that the FSM is preferably non-deterministic because we have 
epsilon transitions in it. We can even write simplified FSMs. Just now we have written FSM for the regular expression B union AB will star. We can also write as B or AB reaching the final state. From initial state 1 epsilon transition going to the final state for epsilon string and from final state back to initial state to repeat the string back into the loop. So this is the simplified FSM for the same regular expression B union AB whole star. So let us build some more FSMs. FSM for the regular expression B concatenated with A union B concatenated with B whole star. Then the FSM obtained is B, we have B, A, B, right? Then A union B is represented as uh, one more start state with epsilon transition for both the regular expressions. So this represents A union B. Then concatenating B with A union B via an epsilon transition. Then so this FSM must again be concatenated with the regular expression B which reaches the final state via epsilon transitions. And whole star, so how do we represent whole star? Create a new start state, make it as accepting state, connect it or link it via an epsilon transition to the old start state. And one more thing to be done is from all the final states or accepting states of this particular machine, here we have only one accepting state, we must have an epsilon transition back to the old start state. So this is the FSM obtained for the regular expression B A union B B whole star. So let us see how to construct one more FSM for the regular expression B A B union A star. B is a regular expression its FSM is this concatenated with A via epsilon transition. This BA is again concatenated with B via epsilon transition reaching the final state. So this is FSM for the regular expression BAB. Coming to A star, A is represented as initial state with A transition going to the final state. Star is represented by creating a new start state, making it as an accepting state. Link this new start state to the old start state via epsilon transition and have an epsilon transition from the final state or accepting state back to the old start state. So this is FSM for A star. Next we have to combine both of them that is B A B union A star. So union is represented by creating a new start state and linking the eps via epsilon transitions to the old start states of both the regular expressions. Now this is the new start state for this regular expression. So finally this is the FSM obtained for the regular expression BAB union A star. So this is how we go for constructing finite state machines for the given regular expressions. Thank you.